Hey, what's up studs? Ryan here, or m and Productions, and today we are reviewing the LEGO Star Wars 2019 AT AP Walker. It's been five years since this set was last released in 2014, and prior to that we had a version back in 2008, so that makes us the third iteration of the AT AP Walker. 689 pieces is good for $60 in the US this time around, that is the same price as the previous version, and I believe $20 more as the version in 2008. I will be doing a comparison video between all three AT APs and when that video is available, it'll be linked in the description below, so be sure to check that out. If you don't see a link, you can just search MNR Productions ATAP Comparison, and you should have no trouble finding it. This set has some fixes from the previous version that we are going to talk about during the review. This set does include five minifigures, Chewbacca, a Kashyyyk Clone Trooper, Clone Commander Gree, and two Kashyyyk Battle Droids, which in my opinion are the highlight of the two Kashyyyk sets this year, this set and the Druid Gunship. Taking a look at the box art, we have Darth Vader first up on the top right of the box with this nice new white box art that just looks stunning stunning with a lot of these sets. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of good sets out with this box art yet, so we're going to have to wait and see what LEGO does with this box art, but uh, this box art will look really legendary if they release some good sets with it. Let's just put it that way. On the back side of the box, we do have all the features of the ATAP, which include a spring-loaded shooter, a pretty nice interior, but it is also very similar to the old one, so we'll get to that as well. And of course, you have the cannon on top and then the posable legs underneath, or at least the one leg is posable. You can actually move it up and hide it or you can have it out and being used either way. Anyway, that is the box. Inside of the box, you do get an instruction manual. Shocking. Uh, unlike Darth Vader's castle, this instruction manual was just loose in there. I believe it wasn't a plastic sleeve, but other than that, it wasn't like in a protector like the Darth Vader's castle was. It does have the QR code there for the LEGO Life app. However, at the time of this review, it is not available on the LEGO Life app. I'm sure that on January 1st, which is when this set is actually supposed to release, that will be available. So you can check back then if you get this set early. If not, you shouldn't have a problem. You can see some more information about that there. It is a regular instruction manual. There's nothing special about it. In the back end, you will find the part list. And then you'll also find some other 2019 LEGO minifigures. And on this other page, you should have some other 2019 LEGO Star Wars sets. So I thought that would be interesting for you to get a look at. If you haven't seen the whole wave, if you haven't seen my videos about all that, you can get a look at it there real quick. But that's the instruction manual. Let's bring over the minifigs and take a closer look at them. Our first minifigure for this set is Commander Gree. He has a standard black clone rifle, or a LEGO Star Wars blaster in general, I suppose. He's got dark green arms, and he's got dark green printing on the helmet that matches those arms. He's also got a little dark green printing on the torso that matches that as well. The torso is made of this olive green color with a lot of printing on it to give it that Kashyyyk aesthetic. You can see some leg printing as well with some more of that olive green down there on some regular black legs. On the back side, you'll find a little bit more detail, and underneath the helmet, you'll find a singular, regular, angry clone face. It's still kicking. That angry clone face is still here in 2019. Not bad, though. If you don't have a Commander Gree, I'm sure you'll be happy to get one. Next up, we have another Kashyyyk clone trooper, and this is an excellent LEGO Star Wars clone trooper. I love this minifigure. He's got some brown legs with some very nice printing details on there, some pockets going up the torso there with a nice chest plate. The olive green color looks excellent, and the helmet mold is really, really good. They've done a great job with this figure. I believe it's largely the same, if not exactly the same as what we've had in years past, so no complaints there. Underneath the head, you'll find that angry clone face again. Woo! Back on. And if you need one of these, you got one with this ATAP. It's always nice to get another Chewbacca in your collection. And this one is going to be the same that we've had from years past. I believe nothing is different about it. He's got his bandolier print in the silver color there. And then the reddish brown uh, pieces that make up the rest of his body. Of course, he's got a light brown print on him to give a little bit of depth to the hair on him. Very nice face print as well. Around back, you'll just find printing on the bandolier, and underneath, you'll find no prints on the torso as usual. He does have a nice bowcaster, which is cool. I like that they give Chewbacca and other Wookiees sometimes a bowcaster, so very happy about that. Moving on, we have two Kashyyyk battle droids, which are probably the highlight of this set as far as the minifigures go. It's nice to see LEGO give a fresh take on some battle droids. I believe these were seen in some of the first episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars and haven't really been seen since, so it's kind of a surprising choice to see LEGO bring it into this set. They do have some gunmetal gray weapons, unlike you see on the box where they are in black. They are actually in gunmetal gray in the set, which is just really weird. LEGO doesn't usually do something like that or mess up something like that. You can see they're definitely not black. But I like the prints on them. You have this dark green, and then, of course, you have the olive green, I believe. So a nice color to them, and they look very kashiki. So they'll fit right in with the rest of the set, which is nice. Good theming for these guys. 
This is the best looking, most refined, most accurate ATAP LEGO has made. Of course, the version 2008 is a pretty rough looking set compared to what we have now. And this version compared to 2014, there is one major difference and that is in the feet. In 2014, the feet were basically straight on angles. Now they were able to turn it 45 degrees and give it a much more accurate look. You guys can see how the feet are just kind of at the off angle. See how they cross like that instead of these being straight on, if that makes sense. So they have made that major change and it's a really cool design that they've used for that we'll actually take this foot off and i will show you guys what it looks like inside how they were able to achieve that because i think it's actually really cool what they've done here so if we pull this big piece off you'll see how they did that it's really really cool i think they've done an awesome job so nice job of the designers just wanted to give you guys a peek at the interior of that and how that whole thing was done the legs are moderately posable um the back hind legs only have one spot that you can move them upon and that's right here this joint here so you can have the back legs just kind of you can hold them down and do this and you can have it up on its hind legs kind of like a horse and it can be clawing in the air or something i don't know that's a feature if you want to call it a feature i don't find too much use in moving the hind legs the main feature of the legs though is the third leg and that's that it's collapsible you can bring it up into the body of the atap so you can have it down in this downward position or you can actually bring it up and into the center area of the body here for the atap and you can actually use this piece here and it's going to help clip it in there and now you have it stuck in there it's not going anywhere there it is up underneath it's a little bit messy you kind of have to get used to figuring out where exactly you're going to place this thing but basically this piece here you just drop it down to kind of have it hold it there it obviously doesn't clip into anything it doesn't snap on it's just loosely held there so you can kind of get an idea of the design underneath there and if we move these out of the way it'll be a little bit easier to see that so that's how they've got that up under there and no complaints about that like i think they've kind of perfected that design i think that's decent but um yeah that's how that works so again you just kind of fold it up and under i do want it out though because it does provide more stability to the set when you have it out so that's kind of the point of it so we'll put these back down where they are supposed to go and then we have it like that so moving on we'll move into the top section of the atap here we have a nice exterior design light gray dark gray some dark green there and of course a little bit of tan they do use a little a little bit of tan i mean jang bricks ganache bricks reference there uh we do have a little sticker there they used to print these back about a decade ago they are no longer printed so that's a sticker that is a sticker exactly the same as the one we had in 2014 i believe that sticker is the same as what we had in 2014 so no redesigned stickers there on the top just kind of the same old same old and then a very similar design to the hatch on the side here moving in to take a closer look at the cannon on top you guys can see it has a spring-loaded shooter in this very nice translucent light green color it's got the small very small one by one tile there to give the maroon red accent to the front of the cannon there uses that good old cannon blaster piece that have been used on plenty of lego star wars sets there in dark gray and then it's topped off with that technic piece the longer cannon underneath looks very nice it uses these pieces that have holes in them so just be that you do have to kind of line them up so that you don't show the holes unless you're a fan of showing the holes i don't like showing the holes so i always put point them down or whatever direction is away from where it would be visible because i just don't like the way they look but if you like showing them you can show them just not my thing of course the front end here looks nice as well so that's the the big cannon on the bottom so you can put a trooper up here in this case we're going to put clone commander grief there is a control panel there for him as well it's nothing crazy it's just a sticker and you can see there's an issue um so when you try to put your minifigure in if you try to load them in from the top down and the spring loaded shooter is there you just might not have a good day <laughs> you might end up shooting your spring loaded shooter out i don't know why this is being so tough to go down there we go we got commander gree on there maybe you can watch the video a little closer there and figure out why i was having trouble but he's got a little seat rest here on the back where you can kind of adjust the angle to that usually you want to have it back just so you can kind of lean him back i like it better when they're leaning back but let's grab that spring loaded shooter and put it back in there and you can see that is going to ride up pretty close to him right up above his feet so like you might already know the way to shoot these off is just push down on them they're pretty sensitive so just a little bit of pressure should be able to do it and they shoot off that probably went about 10 feet so they do have pretty good range I really like the spring loaded shooters. You load them in right there. So you guys should know how that works by now if you've played with any Lego sets in the last five years. There we go. Pretty good design up here. And they do clip in the cannon on the back here so that it can't kind of get away. However, if you really want to unclip it and really free it to move around, you can, which is cool. I do like that. You can get a lot of posability out of the cannons here. So you can move it up and down. 
up and down. And then you can also move this one left to right. It has no up and down on its own. It's just kind of hinged in with this there. So 360 degrees on this is nice though. And this does not get in the way. So good job by Lego. Just barely keeping it out of the way there, but it does stay out of the way. So that's nice. But Command Agree does look pretty nice on there. Let's get to the interior of the ATAP and see what's going on on the inside. You'll find a hatch on both the left and the right side of the ATAP. So you can kind of access the interior either way from that. You can open these up and get on in there or at least get access to a trooper that's in there. The best way to get into the interior though for me is to open up this entire top panel. And if we move this up a little, you'll get a better angle on this. And all you have to do is just literally pull up from the cannon and the whole thing opens like that. These, unlike in years past, don't seem to open. I cannot get them to open. They don't move anywhere. So you are a little bit more limited to how you can access the interior with this particular set. You're a little bit more crammed in there with your, your space for your hands. But if you do want to access the interior from the side, again, you, all you have to do is open up these panels. So you can kind of get a more um, open feel to the interior. Anyway, we can put troopers in there. Unfortunately, they don't include enough troopers to fill every seat. So you have the cannon and then you have two seats on the interior. Again, unfortunately, you don't get enough troopers to fill the entire thing. You can only have enough to fill both seats or one seat and the cannon so that's kind of something that i feel like lego's lacking on like they don't include enough minifigs to fill what you need anymore and that's kind of sad to me but there you go commander gree and your kashik trooper in there there are some control panels in, oh, i guess he wasn't in there very well but there are some control panels in there i want to keep him out of the way anyway so i can show you but you can see the one control panel there is going to be the same as what we had on top same with the left side with the kashik trooper there the control panel in the middle while you may think that's a fancy new design is largely the same as the one we got in 2014 bar it is color swapped and there are some very very minute design changes but that is very similar to what we saw in 2014 for the control panel in the center console of the atap so I'm a little bit disappointed in that, that they didn't try to do something different. But again, it's it makes sense. Like it's a nice control panel. Like I like having the droid gunship there. It's kind of reminiscent of what they've done in the past with some older printed tiles on like early 2000 sets where they put like the droid tri fighter or like the star destroyer or I think like the Imperial shuttle or stuff. They put it on a printed tile and they put it inside the the counterparts vehicle, which was cool. But uh, it's a big control panel. It's got a nice look to it. It's all red, so that makes it a little bit hard to like read, I guess. But other than that, no complaints. You got a couple blue lights and a brown grill there maybe is some type of control panel I'm trying to get commander agree back in there i don't know why he popped out so easily but just place him back down there um the one good thing oh i guess the the one good thing about the seats in this set i would say is that they use the one stud system so you basically have one row of studs and then one row of a tile which makes it a lot easier to get minifigs out of a set like this so props to lego for doing that i always like seeing that on sets because sometimes if you don't do that and you have four studs that the minifigure is sitting on the legs will get stuck and you'll just pull the torso with the head off and then the feet or legs rather are just stuck down there and it's kind of annoying so i like that lego did the one row of studs and one tile for that overall a solid design to the interior around back here we just have it nicely finished off we have this kind of open area in the back here we can kind of latch our cannon back in there so it doesn't go everywhere and just nicely round it off a lot of empty space in the back here as you might expect i think that's pretty accurate it's i almost forgot to mention that this little cannon underneath is posable so just know that you can move this around all you want but let's move on at a glance here we have on the left the 2008 atap in the middle we have the 2014 atap and all the way on the right there we have the 2019 atap you can see the very very close similarities to the 2014 and 2019 ATAPs. Of course, the 2008 ATAP is much, much different. Lego has come a long way since then. It's kind of sad for me to look back at the 2008 ATAP and really just realize that it's kind of a bad set especially by today's standards. It's pretty insane how far they have been able to come. Um, mostly the difference between 2014 though and 2008 or 19 rather, I keep wanting to say 2018, is those 45 degree feet. That's the best part about it. You can't really tell that well on camera in my opinion, but in person you can really tell that the 2019 version has a little bit of a different stance than the 2014 version. I'll be doing a full comparison on these sets, so stay tuned for that in the future. While the 2019 ATAP might be very similar to what we've had in the past with the 2014 ATAP, I think if you don't already own an ATAP, this might be a really good set for you. $60 for 689 pieces is a great price for 
masterpiece in today's LEGO Star Wars market. Especially considering that the set that also goes with this, the droid gunship, is 300 pieces less for only $10 less. That makes this set look like a really good deal. The minifigures aren't bad either. Chewbacca, Kashyyyk Clone Trooper, Clone Commander Degree, and two Kashyyyk Battle Droids are pretty good. To be honest, I always feel like they're always missing just one figure, and this set is no exception. It could just use one more clone trooper. That's all I ask. Why do we not have enough clone troopers to fill all the seats in the ATAP? LEGO has had a bad habit of doing this, and that's going to give this set a 7 out of 10. I would have given this set a higher rating if it had enough figures to fill the seats. I suppose you could put Chewbacca in the ATAP, right? But to me, Chewbacca doesn't belong in an ATAP because an ATAP is for clone troopers, not Wookiees. So that's where I'm at on that. Maybe a 9-year-old who's what this set, I guess, is really made for would feel differently, and that's what really matters. But in my opinion, I just wish it had one more clone trooper. Anyway, 7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments section below. Is it too early to bring back another ATAP for LEGO? I guess it doesn't matter because they're doing it anyway. It's it's here, so it's it's only been five years, but we'll see how this one does. I wouldn't be surprised if this one's retired by the end of this year, though, so just keep your eye out for that. I, I really wouldn't be, but check out my other LEGO Star Wars 2019 set reviews on the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel, and check out the links in the description below because as soon as I have my ATAP comparison up, that will be there. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Outro music.